All right, my name's Phil. I like talking about politics. In this video, I'd like to discuss the news that Nadine Doris's peerage could be blocked as a result of apparent lies that she told Parliament in her role as Culture Secretary. This might upset a potential plan of Boris Johnson's to return as Prime Minister as well. But first, if you'd like to be notified of daily news and politics, please subscribe to the channel and click the bell notification icon. So, we seem to be close to Boris Johnson publishing his resignation honours list, which is reputed to have up to eight sitting Tory MPs bound for the House of Lords, including Nadine Dorries, his former culture secretary. Now, how can we put this delicately? Nadine Dorries really likes Boris Johnson. She's extremely loyal to him. Because Channel 4 News embarrassed Johnson when he ran away from the 2019 general election debate that they staged, Doris used her position as culture secretary to try and take revenge by privatising them. She told a number of lies about it. She said that we shouldn't be spending public money on the channel. We don't spend public money on the channel. Although it is a state-owned television channel, it is entirely self-funding. Not a penny of taxpayers' money goes on it. In fact, it's a very successful operation. Doris also tried to claim that her move had public support by saying a consultation showed 96% of people were in support of Channel 4 being privatised. But an MP at the Select Committee had to point out, actually, what that says is that 96% of people are opposed to privatisation of Channel 4. However, these do not seem to be the lies that are getting Nadine Doris into trouble, even though she said them to Parliament, to MPs in Parliament. It's possible they think she was just making a genuine mistake there because she's too stupid or too drunk to understand her own briefing notes. However, Doris made another claim to MPs in Parliament in her attempt to discredit Channel 4. She claimed that they used actors instead of members of the public in a documentary on deprivation that she took part in over a decade ago. Very serious allegation. Also completely untrue. So according to the Mirror, there's now going to be an urgent meeting by the Select Committee this week to discuss whether or not her intended peerage should be stopped on the basis that she's basically been telling Porky Pies. Now, I felt the need to comment at the time that it would be quite incredible if she was able to hold office in government as well as to be an MP in the House of Commons, despite everyone knowing she'd lied to MPs in Parliament. But that these lies could somehow block her from entry to the unelected house because of it. That would be bizarre. In reality, I strongly suspect that Boris Johnson has so much control over the selection process for the House of Lords after previously unsuitable candidates were forced through that I'd be amazed if this one got tripped up. But it could be interesting. And I was speculating with people yesterday that maybe Doris is crucial to Johnson's plans to return as Prime Minister. His problem at the moment is a combination of the Privileges Committee investigation into his own lies and currently being in a very vulnerable seat. Even before the latest polling collapse for the Tories, Boris Johnson was, was very likely to lose his seat at the next election. And although he's trying his best to trash the reputation of the committee investigating him and his client journalists are doing likewise, there's not a lot he can do about the inquiry. If it concludes that he committed a serious enough breach, they could recommend a hefty suspension, large enough to trigger the recall petition that could see him effectively sacked as an MP. Now, this is by no means certain. It may not even be likely, but it is possible. It's, it's feasible. Johnson would be allowed to stand again in the seat in the by-election. No problem there. But in the current political climate, he would have about as much chance of winning that seat as I do of becoming the next Miss World. So there is a possibility he loses his seat. And then he can't, of course, challenge for the leadership when Tory MPs eventually decide that Liz Truss has to go. In fact, I can see some Tory MPs wanting this outcome. Wait until Johnson's gone, then oust Truss. But there's another plan that I discovered recently. So or discussed recently, I should say. I didn't discover it. The plan probably doesn't exist. This is just my wild speculation. So, Johnson wants to make Doris appear. Now, we know that there's a, a, a scheme by Liz Truss to try and get the peerages deferred until after the next election in order to save a load of embarrassing by-elections. The would-be peers would have to agree, of course, and some may not, because some may, what you know, 
acting on, on Johnson's behalf, want to trip Liz Truss up with some embarrassing, uh, you know, by-elections. But mad nads might defer it as part of a cunning Johnson plan. Again, like I say, all, all pure speculation on my part. And there is one, like, little flaw in the plan. But I was considering that if Doris is still a sitting MP when Johnson loses his seat, or if he loses his seat, it's not certain, but let's say he does, she could then resign her seat because she's going to the Lords anyway. She doesn't want to be an MP after the next election anyway. And then Boris Johnson could present himself as the candidate for that constituency for the resulting by-election. Now, it's a very safe Tory seat. Although, I did have to look at the latest polls and actually it looks like either that would be lost. Um, so right now, it could still be lost. There, there are basically almost no genuinely safe seats right now. In fact, MPs are preparing to go back to Parliament reading story after story about how their entire region is going to be wiped out of Tory taint. You know, Scotland is a given, but I've been reading things, oh, there'll be no Tories left in the, the North West or the North East or West Midlands. And it's like, you know, Tory MPs are looking at this map of Britain going, oh dear, no. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, when the government's unpopular as well in by-elections, they're even tougher because voters who will still vote for them for the general election, they still want them to be in government, can give them a bloody nose by um, turning on them in a by-election without risking the, the government. But it could still represent Johnson's best plan of getting back into the Commons if he has to exit. But if Nadine Doris has her peerage blocked, Johnson may need someone else on the on the uh, to tap someone else on the shoulder for a Trojan horse back into the Commons should he be evicted, or maybe not. Maybe Doris would uh, still sit down, step down anyway, because she doesn't actually want to be an MP after the next election. She's moaning about wanting to do more writing. Oh, she's an author, by the way. Yeah, that's what I thought. But there we are anyway. Those are my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comments below. Hope you found the video interesting. If you did, please click the like button. And if you'd like to support the channel further, the join button for memberships. And until next time, I'll see you later.